just having a normal conversation with the patient, you know, he was actually pretty stable for the previous few days, you know, we weren't really expecting anything to happen. All of a sudden he just kind of slumped over. Dr. Newman immediately checked for a pulse and as soon as I heard uh, no pulse, I ran over to the door, I pulled down the code blue sign and kind of yelled outside the room, code blue, can I get some help in here? Myself and my charge nurse, we immediately jumped up and went to the patient's room, which was across the hall. And the patient was kind of collapsed over the edge into the arms of a physician. She jumped on and started compressions as we called for the code cart. Someone ran into the room saying he went into torsades. We looked at the telemetry and, and confirmed that and immediately shocked him. We didn't get a pulse back right away. Chest compressions continued. It was my turn to relieve the person who was doing compressions. And I remember pushing, and I remember from the training, I had to work a little bit on how hard and how deep I was pressing. It was about 15 compressions in, and the patient was actually, had opened his eyes. But when we arrived as a Code Blue team, um, I remember walking in, the patient was already conscious. I know they had mentioned the, the patient got a defibrillation dose. They had done CPR already. Essentially, they did all the work for us. Kudos to that Code Blue training, because beforehand, I don't think I would have been as confident before the training at all. So going in and doing that, just kind of knowing what to do, and everybody was already in their places, I really compliment my team because I had them and I knew I was confident in what I could do with them because everyone had gone through the same training. Well, if the training wasn't there, I wouldn't be near as comfortable as I would be. I'm in a code blue situation. I'd probably be a little bit slower to call the code blue and get you know the help that's needed in the room. The quicker you can get to chest compressions and shocks is a really big deal. If we didn't have that training, I'm not sure that we would have been as quick to, to respond and get to chest compressions and shocks. When I was doing compressions and wondering is this going to save this patient's life? I'm doing all the things that I know that I'm supposed to be doing. Will this patient come back? And having him open his eyes and, and gasp in that breath um, was unforgettable. And um, his wife crying in the background with relief when she saw her husband's eyes open um, is unforgettable.